So today we are talking about a brand new pulse rifle from the King's Fall raid for Destiny 2. Now this is technically not a new weapon. It's a reprisal weapon from Destiny 1. However, we haven't ever seen it dropped in D2. So I will categorize it as a new weapon. And it's been a long time since I've seen my old friend Smite Avarian. To all those D1 players out there that played King's Fall, you know what I mean. Now today we'll be talking about this in a PvP sense. And uh, it is a little disappointing. I'm not going to flat out say that this is the best weapon possible. We'll, we'll see why stat wise and, you know, obviously perk selection. It doesn't have the best PvP perk selection for pulse rifles. But at the same time, I do think a skillful player and a player who understands the limitations of this weapon can be very efficient with this in a PvP space. So with that being said, let's talk about how you get this weapon. You play the King's Fall Raid, you might get it dropped if you guys get deep sights and you guys fulfill the requirements to craft this weapon, then you can craft this weapon, get any perk you want and even get enhanced perk. So that is a helpful thing for when players can get that. But if you guys don't get craft rules or don't care for crafting, this weapon is farmable in the King's Fall Raid. It is free for all players. You do not need a season pass. You do not need expansion pass or an expansion itself so hop in check it out if you guys are new lights give it a go it's one of the best raids ever in the franchise and a fun time with buds so let's talk about the perks and honestly guys it's fair to say that Fin king's fall has the best origin trait for its weapons and that is ruined over the reason why especially for pve or even pvp specifically we'll talk about this in that sense it is really powerful because reloading near allies overflows the magazine stock value as you see here is 38 when i reload near my teammates i think i had, i don't know which one it is times four times five I, I forget which clip i'm showing i don't know specifically you guys will see that it increases the magazine size by a healthy margin especially to pulse rifle standards this allows you to be a little bit more aggressive and honestly allows you to overcome some of the limitations this weapon has stat wise now if we go back to perks next to that orange trait we in column one we have eye of the storm gunshot straight swashbuckler adrenaline junkie firefly corporal weapon and one for all in column two we have assemble moving target pugilist demolitionist well-rounded focus fury and stats for all and for magazines in column three we have steady rounds alloy magazine dependent mag flared magwell extended mag tactical mag and acarized rounds we're not going over barrels because barrels for pulse rifles is kind of a gold standard of being arrowhead break but barrels for the most part play style pick or choose and this is an adaptive frame so keep that in mind now this is what i got dropped and this is what you are going to be seeing in some of the gameplay we have a handling mastwork which i don't think is the best but at the same time beggars can't be choosers a general junkie moving target acarized rounds and arrowhead break as you could tell i have very top tier pvp choices with a damage increase of a general junkie so we'll get into specifically this is what i got this is what i'm using and this is actually i would say the god roll now there is another perk swashbuckler which is identical to adrenaline junkie when it comes to statistical benefits we'll showcase that a little bit and go over it but when we switch to the stats collectively of this weapon as you can tell this is a really really good gun however the biggest limitation of this weapon is the damage falloff range and it is a 36.58 ads now it doesn't reach the max threshold for pvp pulse rifles and that is 40 meters bungee capped pulse rifles to 40 meters before it damage fall off so the range stat could be 100 and it could say oh the ads is 75 meters for this pulse rifle however in the game for pvp it will cap you at 40 meters before you start seeing that damage reduction a very important thing about pulse rifles if you guys are new so that range stat is pretty important until you get to 40 meters and this doesn't even reach that with all the different selections and that's kind of unfortunate now is it the end of the world not exactly, because if you guys look at aim assistance right now with a target adjuster, it is at a 65 stat. And if we, you know, put the passive fact that moving target basically gives you another 10 of aim assistance, that will kick up to 75. And being around the number 80 for PvP is really, really good. It allows you to change more headshots. And if you guys are a very skillful player who can aim around the head, Bungie will be maximizing your capabilities and you'll be chaining headshots and you'll be like wow i'm very good now very important to mention swashbuckler and adrenaline junkie so if you guys see here swashbuckler is equipped and we'll go over the stats and go over why this is a better perk than adrenaline junkie but at the same time if you're not utilizing the other version of or, or the other way to proc these stacks it doesn't really matter so on weapon or melee kill you get stacks you for example get to kill your grenade with the drone junkie you get a stat of five 
you get a melee kill you get a stat of five so if you guys look on this on light gg on weapon or melee kill specifically weapons you get one per kill so 6.6 .6 is stack one 13.2 is stack two 20 percent is stack three 26 0.4 is stack four and 33% damage increase is stack five. This lasts for 4.5 seconds. Buff is refreshed on kill. Melee kills for Swashbuckler grants all five stacks and for Adrenaline Junkie grants all five stacks as well. This on weapon kills is identical and does not matter. However, if you are really trying to maximize the perk selection and perk choice, since this is a craft of weapon, Swashbuckler will be the better of the two for PvP because punching things is more common common and finishing people with melees is more common in pvp than grenade kills and on top of that it does require recharge times with grenades melee kills a simple punch also counts for swashbuckler now that is the most important part of the perk selection adrenaline junk is great if you guys just care about damage weapon damage you don't really care about grenade kills or melee kills whatever but if you guys are really looking to maximize your overall perks and what you can do and damage output then swashbuck will be the better option for you we also put a range master because again we want to maximize the range as best we can but the one great thing about this weapon is bounce intensity as well recoil control is at a solid 100 which means it is only vertical and very easy to control whether you're a mouse and keyboard whether you're a controller so with the way it's set up now this is a top tier choice now before we end this video let's talk about how you want to play with this weapon as a pvp pulse rifle you would want to control lanes and also focus your combat on medium range now the only caveat to this is that compared to other pulse rifle engagements you will have to try to close that distance as best you can especially when competing against another pulse rifle because you will be at a disadvantage likely to the stat damage fall off for range so again close the range a little bit against a pulse rifle not too much but ruined over allows you to be very aggressive and very i guess you could say dominant on your opponents because even if they have to reload you likely have a lot of bullets and with the iron banner mode right now you can give this a go you're really near your teammates at all times so you can really just keep on shooting and shooting and shooting and shooting and that's why these damage perks like swashbucker and adrenaline junkie do benefit a little bit more compared to other weapons because there is a way to overflow your magazine here very easily and maximizing the weapon stacking of those perks adrenaline junkie and swashbuckler is easy very simple and very controlling and dominant to your opponent but with that being said is this a top tier choice no so use it as you will it's a little unfortunate this weapon isn't as it was in you know d1 i used to love this weapon in d1 pvp but again i don't control what perks they add to it and i'm just happy it's back it feels great it looks awesome so give it a go if you guys play the king's fall right and get it to drop this is a solid weapon for pvp we'll be talking about this in pve as well so if you guys are new here and want that video definitely hit that subscribe button and bell because uh this weapon has a lot of healthy perk selections too for pve and be a dominant force in that sandbox but until then that's all i got for this one hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did be sure to like helps out the video a lot but until next time hope you guys have a good one challenge you here and i'm out <laughs>